Hello everyone, I am Naveed Askar and today I am going to discuss TAC questions. What are TAC questions? Where do we use them? And in the first place, why there is a need, why, we, why do we feel the need to <clears throat> learn TAC questions and use them? First, where are the TAC questions and for what purpose we are supposed to learn TAC questions? TAC questions are the hallmarks of what informal stuff in informal English in spoken English, in speech writing, in informal letters, in dialogues, in narrative essay, we do use what tag questions. So these are the um, these are the questions in which these tag questions could come handy. They could prove fruitful for you. That's why you need to acquaint yourself with what tag questions. The first thing is what I have uh, quoted. I have already written some sentences. To, to familiarize you with what tag questions, their structure, the punctuation sign they use, tenses they do use. So the first sentence is, she is a translator, isn't she? The first thing you need to bear in mind is what tag question always ends with what question mark. First thing, Tag question as the name, as it is apparent from the name, that is a kind of question, interrogative statement, so it must be ended with what? Question mark. The second thing is a tag question that consists of two parts. Any sentence which we name or term as a tag question, it consists of two parts. First part and the second part. Second part obeys what happens in the first part. Suppose she is a translator, this is what a positive sentence, it's in simple present tense. So its stack question would be, this is the first part, it's in a simple present, you have to put comma, <clears throat> then you have to use what isn't she. So its affirmative sentence, its stack question will, must be negative interrogative, negative interrogative. Whatever the positive, whatever the first part of the sentence is, that question should be otherwise. If it is a positive, it must be negative, interrogative. If it is a negative, it must be only interrogative. So that's why she is a translator, kind of a affirmative, it's kind of a statement. So it's that question after you have placed comma, then you have to, isn't he? Next sentence, you came by train, it's, a, it's in a simple past, <clears throat> comma. Didn't he? This is simple past, so its helping verb would be same as uh, or in first part of the sentence. First part of the sentence is what in simple past, so its helping verb must be taken from what simple past. You came, uh, you came by train, comma. Didn't you? It's in a positive sentence. Its tag question would be must be negative interrogative. Next is you can meet me at the station, comma. Can't you? So here positive, here must be negative interrogative. Where which helping verb is to be used here? The one which is used in the first part of the sentence. He hasn't arrived yet, comma, has he? So helping verb, same helping verb which is used in the first part of the sentence. This is, this is negative structure. It's a negative sentence. So it's tag question should be simply interrogative. This time it shouldn't be negative interrogative because the negative one is repeated in the first part of the sentence. Now the last, in the last part of our lecture, we are going to discuss okay, why do we use what? Tag questions. What are their usage? When it comes to handy in what and which kind of situations do we need to use what these stack questions? The first one is when you want to check, when you want to <clears throat> confirm something, when you want to, especially when you want to seek approval or seek agreement of somebody and in order to elucidate uh, its use, I have quoted a, what an example sentence. You, you want to come with me, don't you? Actually, this is what is he is seeking, he or she is seeking for what uh, agreement, whether that gentleman, whether uh, it's, whether me is going to come with him or not. So it is, uh, he is asking for what agreement. So the first use of tag question is when you want to ask for agreement. And second one, its second use is when you want to check whether something is true or not. And it's about meeting. The meeting is, Tomorrow at 9 a.m. isn't it? So whether you want to come home, whether the meeting is to be held at, early, at 9 a.m. in the morning or not. So these are the usage of what tag questions. You need to acquaint yourself, familiarize yourself 
with these stack questions so that you could easily um, use them when while you are convers while you are conversing with somebody in english you are writing an informal letter you are uh, you are uh, you you are dropping a line to someone or your character in a narrative essay is engaged in a dialogue with some other character that's it for today thank you very much